segment, we actually have a guest. So I'm excited. Some of you may recognize her from some of my videos in the past that she's been a part of. Um, this is my BFF, um, Miss D, Lady D. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have you with us today. And I um, today we are coming in and we're actually going to be talking about trauma and triggers and turkey as we're getting ready to go into the holiday season. And like I said before, it could be one of these things where you look forward to the holidays and sometimes people say it's the most wonderful time of the year, but that's not always true. We know that um, this is also the season where we see increase in depression, um, where people are um, just sad because they may not have have a family or they've lost a loved one. And so today I just want to talk to Lady D about some of the things that she has gone through. Um, she had, and I'll let her tell more about um, more herself, but just in the past, I know that she has experienced loss of, of close loved ones. Um, I know she's experienced the loss of her, her dad and three of her siblings. And even this year, she experienced the loss of her stepson. So I know it's not easy no matter how many times you've gone through it. But I would like to um, just talk to you today about how you have navigated some of the holidays in the past. Because I know sometimes that first year, um, those first holidays, that first uh, Father's Day, the first of each one of the holidays that come up can be can be hard. So um, just let us know a little bit of what you have done in the past, some things that have helped you, D. Okay. Well, well, one thing. Prayer, 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 <laughs> and then some more prayer. Um, but yeah, um, we we have had uh, some tremendous uh, losses, as I'm sure you know many others. Um, we were the the Fab Eight, um, uh, the 2085 Rice Drive crew, um, and uh, I'm the youngest out of eight. And uh, so about eh, two, I think uh, 2000. Four, no, 2004, 2005, something like that. You know, um, we we lost dad, um, and you know he succumbed to uh, to cancer, and um, and then it just seemed like, wow, you know, a year later we, we lost a brother, uh, brother he was only forty three, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's like wait a minute that that doesn't happen, <laughs> or it shouldn't happen, um, and then you know my, my oldest sibling, my oldest brother. Then um, you know everybody has that that heart of the family that may, usually it's in the form of the, the oldest brother or sister. So it was my oldest sister. Um, so that was another you know punch in the belly and so forth. So you know it, it seemed to like it was trending, you know every two years or so, mm -hmm. you know, or, or every three years, you know here we go, here we go again, you know. So and um, you know other issues and and so forth um, through that time. And um, so all of, you know, the family uh, gatherings and so forth would always be at mom's house, you know. So, but, um, you know, I was blessed to, you know, have a home. And so we just did little changes. Like we gradually changed the venue, um, you know, like that first Christmas, um, you know, after my dad, you know, we, we had Christmas here, you know, at my home. And then it, it kind of became the trend in, um, so that kind of took the sting off of it a little bit, you know. Um, so just by changing uh, just the environment, um, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. like mom didn't have to worry about cooking and doing all that thing, all of that thing. Um, it gave her an opportunity to uh, let her children be her gift and allow her to sit and rest and be taken care of. And, um, and then we were able to gather just at a different venue. So just even just something as small as that, um, you know, or we would we would change up the traditions, you know, um, or, or create new traditions. So so it was just always you know a different way. Um, and as you know, Lady T, you know I'm a figure it out resourceful and hey let's do that, you know, <laughs> let's do this, let's do that. And so um, I, I just kind of just started getting creative with it and just decided that. You know, um, I I wanted to uh, obviously grieve, but in a different way. 
and in a, I, I wanted to get ahead of it in a way or get on top of it in a way to where as um, I could honor my loved ones. I moved it to a place of honor instead of a place of just loss. Uh, my mm-hmm. sister loved Christmas, you know, loved giving. She'd give you the heart out of her body. You know, any, um, I remember being in a, a Walmart and oh my God, we were there like five hours. And I was <laughs> to the point of uh, asking people, hey, can somebody give me a ride home? You know, this was before Uber. Um, so, <laughs> so I just decided to um, just channel into the things that they love, they, they, the, the, those loved ones, they, they loved family. They loved uh, Christmas and, um, you know, uh, whatever that holiday was. Um, so, you know, I just kind of channeled the energy there to a positive one um, instead of just thinking about, you know, just the loss. Um, say it, it's easier, that say it sounds easier said than done, you know, because everybody grieves differently. Um, and then we, uh, we we lost Butch, which was my stepson, you know, in June of this year. So this was not anything foreseen, um, just boom, you know, get that phone call. So it, it's, it's been a real big, um, uh, just, just a real big life changer. Um, immediately, we, we were just spiraled to a whole different place. Now, know? what you were saying... How do you navigate that if one person may want to go on with the tradition and then someone else is um, feeling like it's it's not right or feeling like it's insensitive to to celebrate a holiday knowing that this um, loved one is not there this year? Well, well the, the key T is it has been communication. Got to say location, location, location. It, it truly has been communication, 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 um, and just uh, being totally honest, kind of like that naked truth um, with one another, um, and 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 just having that conversation. Um, hey, how do you feel? Um, or hey, um, do you, what do you feel about you know the holidays this year? You know, or what do you feel today? Because you might feel one thing today, but then as it gets closer um, to the holiday, you it may t- you may be in a whole different mindset and and with your feelings. However, uh, what's what's been very helpful for us um, is to talk about it, um, and and I can't stress that enough is for us to to communicate um, and and just check in with one another. Um, you know. How are you feeling about things? And especially as it gets closer to it and and just leave it open to whereas um, you're not just narrowed in and, and, and stuck or confined with, you know, some sort of um, schedule, you know, um, mm-hmm. flexibility and, and just having that, that, that permission to, to give yourself flexibility that, uh, hey, I don't have to, if I, if I don't want to go, I don't have to go, you know, but, um, and but yeah, definitely you, is communication. Um, I, I like that about the communication. And one of the things that I know that you had talked about um, when you and I were talking earlier this week is you were saying it's good to have a buddy system. So yeah. I guess like if you have decided you want to go to an event, but because sometimes you have to take it moment by moment. And maybe yeah. something yeah. triggered and you you feel like you need to get up, you need to leave or you need to get yeah. away from everyone. Um, give us a little bit more um, feedback about about the buddy system that you um, find that's helpful. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I, and just um, what what I found um, through this journey, this piece of it, you know, that um, grief wants to isolate you. It wants to make you feel um, that you're the only one, that you're the only one that's doing that. Um, and, and sometimes you can, you can just own it all. And then that causes you to, to shut down. Um, so, uh, what I found through the journey, um, was to, you know, have that person, you know, whoever that person may be, 
maybe your bestie, like you, <laughs> your bestie, your um, church member, um, the pastor or elder or, or, or brother or sister, you know, who is maybe on a different level of the journey or so. Um, and, you know, have that form that buddy system. You know, it goes back to once again, communication um, and let them know how you're feeling, you know, and how the each day is by moment by moment. Um, and that, you know, hey, is it okay if I call you sometime? Um, or if I'm at this party, you know, I might want to go and I may be having a good time, but it could be a song or something that may come on mm. or a scent, you know, that may mm. take you. So, um, you know, have it already planned out uh, where you can kind of get ahead of it, um, if you will, you know. Uh, my, uh, clinical I think even probably having uh, maybe like a safe word, a certain word, yeah. if I say yeah. this, yeah. Then that means yeah. that's kind of like the, our cue that we, right. we're going to be leaving, we're going to exit. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, you know, and just... Just as I said, grief wants to isolate you. Just, just being mm -hmm. open and honest and transparent, um, because you know uh, everybody's going through something. Like, okay. um, I didn't even think of the thing like you're saying. A scent, a song mm -hmm. can come yeah. on. Like different yeah. things can trigger. Or yeah. just seeing a picture. Um, so just being sensitive to that. I think that's important. Right. And um, and uh, this video, I, I don't want it to just help the people that's going through grief. I want it to also be for people who are navigating life with someone who has lost someone. Because I know sometimes you're trying not to, you, you're trying to be sensitive, but at this, you don't want to seem insensitive. And you sometimes people just don't know what to say or what to do. Like, do you invite them? Do you not invite them? Like, I do feel like you shouldn't put pressure on people that's going right. through grief. Like you said, everybody is navigating it differently. Some people want to be surrounded by everybody. Some people want want a smaller a smaller group. And I like mm -hmm. what you were saying earlier, changing the venue, maybe going yeah. out of town instead of doing what you would normally do, starting right. a new tradition, making new memories. Mm -hmm. Making new memories. I think that's I think that's very important as well. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, and just channeling in on, um, you know, the, the likes of that, that loved one. Um, you know, I know the first year, uh, you know, without Carol, it's like, man, how am I going to do Christmas? You know, this, this lady used to, she was Mrs. Claus. Really, I thought she was Mrs. Claus. I was like, seven <laughs> and she came in from Las Vegas and, you know, they had, they came, they got there at like midnight <laughs> and they had a bunch of toys they had all kinds of stuff that I asked for that I didn't ask for you know and so that was just her year um and so I decided that I said well we have to do Christmas you know just for her um and the you know just to honor her and um and I mean and it was it, it was great you know it, it felt mm -hmm. as if she feel there so mm -hmm. and then it, by facing it, I was able to, with the next holiday or the next day or the next issue, you know, it, it got better. You know? You're talking about communication. You're saying how important the communication is. Is the communication just between you and your spouse or how are you communicating to other family and friends? Is it important to, to let them know? It, it is. It is, you know, because um, we, as we when we opened and um, I think you mentioned about the, the walking on the, the eggshells and so forth. Um, we have learned to we are learning, put it that way. It is it is a work in progress that we not only communicate with each other, you know, um, you know, as far as checking in on those different triggers and, and how, how you're feeling or how you're going through that day. Well, we're also being vocal with family members um you know as well um so just just opening up and letting them know that okay well i kind of want to do um uh, thanksgiving but i'm not sure you know and then that kind of opens that door up to whereas they can feel comfortable to bring it up you know mm -hmm. and then on the flip side i would say um to 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 family members you know that's your family. Open up. If you don't know, ask. Hey, hey, brother, 
Hey, sister. I know it's been a rough time this year. And man, here it is Thanksgiving already. How would you like to proceed? You know, um, well, what are you feeling about the celebration this year? Or do you want to mm -hmm. celebrate? And, um, you know, just having that dialogue. But I think what happens is um, people people just don't know that, you know, you don't even know sometimes how you're feeling or what you want um, mm -hmm. at that particular time. Um, so um, so it's, it's both ways. It's a two way dialogue, I, I think. And what's been helpful for us um, yeah. is one of your, 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 your heart to lead you mm -hmm. as far as, you know, um, how you can help or share that 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 moment with that person or, or love with that person um and so then that I takes do the like how you're of saying um I like how, how you're saying to that it's okay that if you have a loved one that you can start the conversation mm -hmm. asking mm -hmm. them what you know you, do you want to celebrate or how would you like us to do this this year um and being sensitive to that right and, right. and and also just, being um, yeah yeah and knowing and and taking away that it could change that yeah. i may say that yeah i want to i want to celebrate i want to still do this and then the mm -hmm. day of i i might change right. my mind and so we need to be okay with that and, and understand right. exactly 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 because it's coming it's in and sharing you know a, a topic and a subject matter that's important to talk about but i know it's not always easy and i have learned some things um as far as being sensitive and knowing that the plan may change it may be one thing today but it could change on the day of and i and yeah. or it's in the <laughs> middle of the event right so exactly being okay with that um being sensitive exactly. to that um do you have anything else or any any other tips that you would like to share um, I, I just think that, um, you know, just, uh, I, I can't stress enough about just communicating, you know, with, um, your, your loved ones or your friend that's, or your whomever that's just going through, um, and, and, and just giving, giving each other grace, um, just, uh, and grace and, and patience, you know, um, because, you know, a person that's grieving, they really don't know what they want um, from day to day with the moment. Um, so just just good old fashioned grace, the grace that God gives us every day. Um, you know, just 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 do that. And, um, you know, it, it really goes a long way. You know, it really uh, makes the person feel uh, it takes the pressure off that, you know, hey, I, I don't have to make myself do this when I can't, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't have to try to explain myself um, yeah. to the masses. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so just communication and, and being heart led, you know, let, let your heart lead you um, to have those uh, hard conversations with, with your with your loved one, the person or anyone that has experienced the loss and just, just give it some old fashioned grace. That's it. Yeah. Okay, great, great, great tips. Um, you know, y'all are definitely in my prayers this holiday season and continuing to um, just poke you guys and encourage you guys. And um, y'all are been a strength to um, just watching y'all. And I know it's God. I know it's God walking through. Yeah, you guys Because too. I know this is <laughs> difficult for y'all too this year, you know, um, especially like you said, anytime you lose a child, that is definitely not, not an easy thing to do. So, but I do want to thank you for your time and um, thank you for joining us. And I know that this is going to be helpful to other people. So I hope so. Bye. <laughs> All righty. Gobble, gobble, everybody. <laughs>